man. We back at it. <clears throat> we sure are back at it. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one with the liquor. And Billy, there you go. You getting your, you you getting see your me? body right, man. I'm cheating myself body, together. Man, cheers. Yeah, cheers, cheers. brother. You know cheers. what I'm gonna do this cheers to? What's this too? This one's gonna come way out of left field. Don't mm-hmm. nobody see this one coming. What's this one for? To earn his shirt that he wore the other night. Let me tell you something, people. <laughs> he was dressed like. Let me tell you something. Listen to me, people. Listen to me carefully. <laughs> You can tell uh, his dress like man take off the other night. Listen to me. He Thought was, it was offset. He was. He damn sure was. I was like looking for Cardi B. He had his swag on a billion. <laughs> and let me tell you, I, I'm looking through the timeline. On my timeline, I see, I see er, Ernest was on one of these. He was linked. He was like linked back, like with the, with the, you know, the world is mine shirt on. Yeah. He, he out there with, the, you know, he three quarter down to right around the sternum area opened up. <laughs> I said, whoa, shit, the fuck going on? I said, then Billy called me, when I seen Billy, Billy said, man, uh, first thing came out, you see an Ernest shirt? <laughs> Mm-mm. That's why he mentioned it, and then it came up. He mentioned it, and then it came up. I said, that nigga girl mad. <laughs> if she see that picture, hey. she's mad. Cause let me tell you something. The shirt popped. It popped. It did everything. It gave, it gave him all, it gave him what he wanted. And through, I did some back channeling and found out she bought the shirt. Oh, man. Bought the shirt. And, and don't get, get mad. That you getting them likes. <laughs> that them likes and them hard eyes in that bitch. <laughs> These right here will break your goddamn relationship up. These eyes right here that's red will break your shit. I seen it. So I had to pose a question. I said, uh, first of all, hey, Ernest, love that shirt. You winning. I know them DMs popping. So how you feel about Ernest wearing that shirt? <laughs> well, I mean, hey. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> people in my DMs, too. <laughs> man, that's funny. Man, uh-huh. man, we over there, hey. We <laughs> over there turned up. <laughs> I said, hey, man, she, she didn't know what that shirt was going to get her into. Yeah. She thought this was gonna be me, you, and the shirt. No, no. no me, that's you. a gateway. That the was a gateway shirt. World. <laughs> hey, like they say, these hoes, these shirts for everybody. <laughs> these shirts for everybody. They bring that swag out of everybody. Hey man, I got my shorts on today, man. Me and baby about to get out of here. And that is, a, that's like that's you got some cool out shorts. Yeah, on. we going we for the cool out. We going to uh, Curacao. I, I I I was saying Caraco, saying this shit all wrong, but it's Curacao in uh, in the uh, uh, Dutch Islands. That's where we going to get away. We finna go kick it for for a weekend. That sounds like a place the royal family go to kick it. Yeah, it's it seem royal. It seem royal. Man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to go in there and see what that does, man. I've been looking at my money uh my money conversion for over there. You better get it right. Let me tell you, boy. Well, you how, go ahead, cause I I just thought about something. You better get it right. I'm about to have five hundred thousand, whatever they got over there. <laughs> <laughs> What's the exchange rate? <laughs> I said, what's 2,000 converted into their currency? Right. This shit said 500,000. I'm about to have a half a million or whatever go the buy currency a, is. Go give me a house out there. I don't know what that's going to buy. 500,000? That's, hey, man. Hey. hey. Unless I did something wrong. I ain't never had 500,000 anything. Let me, hold up. <laughs> Get that conversion rate down. Yeah. I went out to Seychelles in East Africa. And the name, their, their, their currency is the rupee. The rupee? The rupee. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the rupee is. I ain't even tripping on the rupee. Mm-hmm. The rupee don't sound like it's worth more than the money. Right. Money, rupee. Which one are you gonna take? You gonna take the money. Right. So I go into this little gift shop, the hotel we staying in. Yeah. Cause I'm trying to go kayaking. Mm-hmm. I'm doing different shit. I'm on, I'm on Seychelles Island, I'm going kayaking. You doing it all. So I went and got some, I need to get some shorts. I didn't have no swim trunks. I went and got some swim trunks. So I'm looking through, I'm looking through, <clears throat> and I see the tag on the shorts. Mm-hmm. Fifty-three thousand rupees. God damn! It just made you uncomfortable with it being that denomination. Fifty-three thousand rupees. The fact that it had a comma in some shit I was about to buy to wear no. on my like just some regular. Sh- so I, I I'm tripping, but I shouldn't be tripping. I don't even know what that is. It just scared me. Fifty-three thousand rupees scared me. Mm-hmm. So I said, ma'am, please, what's fifty-three thousand rupees? Convert that for a million dollars. She says a thousand, like a thousand something. I said, U.S. dollars? Is a thousand U.S. dollars? Yes. I said, so I gotta pay you a thousand U.S. dollars for some swim, like, 
What 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 else do these shorts do? Like they got to do something else. They can't just be a, swim trunks. A thousand? They got. I gotta come as soon as I put them on. I need to bust a nut as soon as I put these on and step into the ocean. I need to bust all in the ocean. Man, look. Ain't no way that they're just regular. Sw- nah, you can't be fucking around with like that. I'm messing up the. I don't know if it's fifty or thousand, but the shorts was a thousand U.S. dollars. They crazy. They know that exchange route, Playboy. Yeah. Them, so I went for a thousand dollars. Yeah. I went kayak. Thousand dollars. They better be the shorts that uh, Richard Pryor had on when he was fucking Marlon Brando. Like, <laughs> this is the shorts that he pulled down to run dick up in Marlon Brando that we selling you for a thousand dollars. These was the for a thousand dollars. These better be the shorts that Dr. King had on uh-huh. under his slacks at the Lorraine Motel for a thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this nigga say he wants to trust Richard Pryor having with his fucking shit out of Marlon Brando. Listen, allegedly, allegedly. Who the fuck are we allegedly for? That man's wife came on and said <laughs> right. he was doing so much cocaine. Ain't no more Richard die. Pryor would have put his dick in an AC unit if he had to. <laughs> He'd have fucked hey, the washer and dryer hey, for this much cocaine God, he was doing. To me. Didn't worry about Richard wasn't worrying about that. He's sitting up there talking about you got it wrong. I do it and I do it again. Hey man, listen to me. You doing some heavy party? You doing some heavy yes, partying. Let me tell you who doing some heavy partying right now, man. I'm 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 in between right now because I don't know how to feel. Talk to me. My church home that I grew up in, I told y'all about Windsor Village previously, the church mm-hmm. I grew up in. Man, my pastor got hit in a little bit of a scandal. I don't want to say scandal, because scandal means something morally fucked up. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. But they got him in a jam where they say, uh, and I, I when I found out what it was, this is probably bad, because this is let you know what my moral barometer is. Mm-hmm. When I found out it was a scandal that he was indicted with something, I said, man, don't let this boy have nothing sexual going on. Mm-mm. Nothing sexual. No, no battery, no sexual. I got to see what's going on. But it's bad. That How I old is he? 64. Pastor Kirby John Caldwell. Man, he baptized me. He took me through confirmation. Man was, he was there when my daddy died. He, you know what I'm saying? He was there through all of the major points of my life, man. When I was getting married, I talked to him. man. So, man, I'm reading the indictment. I'm nervous. I'm reading through the documents. It said wire fraud and bank fraud and money laundering. Oh, that, now that can happen to anybody. Watch this. I ain't even going to jump on so that. So, look. That can happen to anybody. I was like, oh, okay, That's cool. It. Yeah, that ain't so bad. He's still my pastor. You can beat that. Yeah, you can beat that. So, so I'm like, man, but it's the feds, though. So, they, they got him jammed up. And it took me back. So I was like, man, I don't even believe nothing that he could do something just morally bad like that. I don't want to believe it. And then I thought about the one time shit was all in question. You know how you see somebody and you like, they running with the wrong crowd? Yes, we do, fellas. So, hey. And that's all I'm going to say. That was a studio audience. That was a studio joke, fellas. Sorry, Sorry about that. Studio that audience. Home. So yeah, Super, Bowl, Super Bowl in Houston, I'm down there, I got a show. Me, Ricky Smiley, Ali, a bunch of people, we down there running around Super Bowl in Houston. Um, they got me staying down at the Four Seasons Hotel downtown in Houston. Nice spot. Uh, just so happens that the hotel we staying in is like a part host of the whole Super Bowl weekend. So as I'm in there, I'm walking through the goddamn uh, lobby Jimmy Johnson's in there arguing with Lawrence Taylor and uh, what is his nigga name? Fuck, what is his name? First of all, a story with Jimmy Johnson and Lawrence Taylor in the in the hotel. I'm I'm tripping because I'm like nigga, there go Jimmy. Hey, that's Jimmy. That's Jimmy right there. Him and Lawrence is arguing. I'm talking about Jimmy's blood red. You're full of shit, Lawrence. You're full of shit. Ain't no way. Now they was talking about players, and I was like, oh okay, they on some football talk. Right. I'm walking on through. Terry Bradshaw gets off the elevator. Mm. I'm like, damn, I'm in the right place. Louisiana. Terry Bradshaw, I see, I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable. He was Terry Bradshaw, but I was like, man, I'm gonna chill. That's Terry Bradshaw. I mean, still, I'm not gonna do that. That's still Terry Bradshaw. It's still Terry Bradshaw. But I was like, okay, that's Terry Bradshaw. I see you. I get on the elevator. I go up to the mezzanine level. On the elevator, on the second floor, who gets on? Houston legend, Calvin Murphy gets on. I said, oh, shit. First black man I ever seen with an Eddie Monster. Hey, he got all of it. He First got all black of man it. I ever seen with an Eddie he Monster. He talking shit. Now, I'm in the front of the elevator. Calvin Murphy gets on. He in the back. He talking to, uh, he's talking to uh, one of the uh, assistant coaches of the Rockets right now. Uh, young dude. Can't think of his name. But he's one of the assistant coaches, so they talking shit. But they ain't talking about basketball. They talking shit. 
Calvin talking about where they went last night and what party wasn't shit. Now, Terry Bradshaw it was getting off the elevator when I got on. I stopped, we stopped on the third level. Who gets on? My pastor. Plain as day. Gets on. Whew. Boom. They behind me. I say, what's up, pastor? What's going on? He said, oh, man, what you doing down here? I tell him about the show and all that. Now, he's talking. He's got somebody with him that's talking. The dude that's with him starts talking to Calvin Murphy. He's talking about what they did last night. Pastor says, yeah, man, we went out, went to a couple of events. I had to go speak at a couple places and see some people that I'm doing some business with. Now, all I hear is the dude that's with Pastor and the dude that's with Calvin Murphy. They say, yeah, man, but nothing tops the party went to another, another night. It was a bunch of holes in there. Didn't you see him? And I heard everybody laugh. It sure was, sure was, sure was. I said, hey, I, I wanted to look back like, Pastor, you on some bullshit. Say something. <laughs> but I wasn't say sure. Anything but, about I, but I felt like if I look back, that would made him feel uncomfortable. Hold I look. said, let me just be a fly on the wall and That's see good. how this part is going. So they talking about, man, they was in there. Ooh-wee. Everybody was on there agreeing. So That's I knew I knew he was there. conversation with you. That's an old nigga conversation. That means they had been drinking. There was, they was some drinks flowing. Mm-hmm. Some, they was coming from somewhere because Calvin with Murphy was lit. Let me tell you something. This ain't shit on the Super Bowl that they had back. I was like, oh, man. Here you go, Calvin Murphy. Give me one story so I can get something before I get off this elevator. End up getting to my floor. I get off. They ride on up. I go to my room, put my bags down, drop my shit. I'm finna run back downstairs. Cause I'm like, fuck, man, I need to go down here and try and catch this Uber because I need to try and get me a shirt to wear for the event I'm going to tonight. Mm-hmm. Go back to the elevator, hit the request button again. Mm-hmm. Boom. Get on the elevator, get downstairs. I'm in the lobby. Once I get to the lobby, James Brown is down there. Mm-hmm. NFL commentator. James. Yeah, commentator. commentator. Mm-hmm. Then around the corner, Howie Long is in there. I said, shit, everybody in here. I called my daddy. My daddy was, I, I said, hey, man. Boy, everybody down here at this hotel. He said, man, is it nice? I'm still at work. But when we get off, I'm going to come down. I said, man, come on down here, man. Everybody in here, man. I seen Terry Bradshaw, James Brown. Everybody's in here. Howie right. Long. Hey, you need to come on down here, man. All right. Charles Barkley walked through the lobby. I said, shit, everybody in here. I don't need to leave. Fuck this shirt. I'm going to sit in this sit in this little area. Right. So, man, I sit down at right at the bar. There's a little table, a little bar table right there, right next to the bar. Charles Barkley come over, Calvin Murphy come over, the nigga that's the assistant coach, he come over. My pastor, he comes over, but I don't see him. I they talking cash shit over here at this mm-hmm. story. They they giving story. I'm I'm drinking. I'm like, man, they going in over here, man. I want to get in this conversation right. so bad, but I don't want to make this pastor, my pastor feel uncomfortable. Right. Cause I know he just chilling right now. Now they talking. Now Calvin Murphy they asked Charles about what party was live back when he was in Houston. He's like, man, whatever happened to such and such club? I was like, what club is that? I ain't never heard of that. That's before my go out day, so I didn't know nothing. If it had been a club I knew about, I'd have referenced the stuff. Right, you can get in that. Pastor says again, yeah, man, that was a nice spot, man. We had a good time back there. I was like, this nigga was everywhere. Fuck was there too. He was there too. I was like, man, I'm now, now I'm full. I'm full with this boy right here. Come on now. Hey. I'm waiting on any reference to any club. Now you ready. You double dutching this conversation. Now I'm double dutching waiting this for conversation. Your shit. That boy says, man, but you know, Oasis. I said, man, that Oasis was there all right. That go. Oasis was there. That's his end. Hey, now I'm in the conversation. Now I got something to say. I got something to say That's about it. Oasis. I'm, I'm like, come on and say something about, who remembers 713? I said, I'm, I'm in now. So now I'm going to drive. Now I'm going to just start throwing out all the clubs that I knew niggas was going to that I had a chance to run through. I'm 713. Oh, man, Simples was something else. Now, we talking. Everybody in there. Pastor jumps in. Simples was a nice spot, man. Jamie Foxx had an event back there. I say, man, it's, come on. It's come everywhere. on. Come on. I'm in it. I'm in it so long, I done forgot about time. I still need to get this shirt because I'm performing at the House of Blues right, right around the corner from there. Mm-hmm. I leave. Go to get my shirt. I'm like, fuck, man. That was a dope-ass set of stories. Mm-hmm. Pastor really know what's going on. Yeah, he was out there. Man, I get back to the hotel. I'm walking in. I see the elevator door swing open. This after the show? This, no. Nah, Before this, the show? This, show this, no, this after the show. Okay. After the show, I see a group of girls come out. Man, it's a flock. About eight white women. Mm. Eight of them. Now, these white women, these look like 
the white women had been to several Super Bowls. Like, they okay. go all the time. They go to Super Bowls. Okay. I didn't know if they was wives at first. I'm looking at jury. I'm trying to see. I don't see no rings. These just these some unspoken for white women running around. All right. I hear a familiar voice. Charles Barkley comes off the elevator. I said, oh, shit, there go Charles. This is the party about to turn back up. The white girls were him. Yeah, white girls were him. I yeah. said, oh, yeah, that's what's going on. I see Calvin Murphy come off the elevator. I said, oh, shit, it's popping. Calvin, get with him, too. I said, Calvin and Charles, they didn't have a wild night, and I missed it going to the show. Right. Last but sure not least, I'm going to get on the elevator. Who on the elevator leaned up against the wall? Going still up and get off. Hose done got off my pastor. pastor. He looked me dead in my eye and I said, Did you miss me? God damn it, Pastor. You be everywhere. Hey, I hope that boy get the off. everywhere, we man. We don't want no problems. Man, we don't want no problems. He, hey, I, I looked dead at him. I looked in the eye. When I looked him in the eye, I was like, Hey, hey. What you, what you, got? What you got on that? I just gave him that. I just gave him that. Woo. That's what he said. He, woo. He gave me that back. Tell you something. I said, That was on with. And that was the only time I was like, Boy, I didn't see you do nothing. But, but I, I seen you I do. See I, I see. Hey, I I ain't stupid. See, you, you out here. You know my daddy a pastor. Delay. My daddy be my daddy a pastor, and he be trying to show, like you know since I grew the facial hair, my daddy, he preached, but he was in them streets deep, so he tried to say shit <laughs> that let me know like nigga I was fucking them hoes too, but he can't say it because he he a man of the cloth. He a man of God. This is what he hit me with. He said, son, because he just got on Facebook. Mm -hmm. On there wrong. Just on Facebook wrong. Don't know how to Facebook. He don't know how to Facebook. Be saying shit out loud in, in the comments. Get in the inbox. He don't know shit about that. So he commented, hey, son, looking good. Thanks, pops. He texts me. Hey, son, like the new look on you. You know that beer remind me of me, like in the 60s. <laughs> I had the same look. Yeah, man. I know how ladies treat you with that beard, too. Hey, when your daddy a man in the cloth and he know what that beard action do? He said, I know how them ladies treat you, too. I, I wanted to throw him some more, some more meat out there so he can attack it. But I said, nah, I, I don't want to play him like that. Nah. Easter was yesterday. <clears throat> and my daddy was on Facebook Live with his church. What'd he do? He don't have a lot of members, for one. Where, where's his church at? Um, in it? Carfax, Louisiana, I think. Oh, I think it's in man. Carfax. But, man, that nigga was clean to the motherfucker back. That nigga had a clean. robe. Ooh, that nigga had a, like a Pope robe. Like, but, but looked like the nigga got it tailored. Like, you, you, you know how the Pope shit be swelling? This nigga shit was fitting out. Tight. This nigga, all right. Yeah, so he was like, man, how's, uh, how the boys doing and everything? So it brings me back to the boys. And my wife, my ex-wife. Now, I mean, you, was, you left us. Let me tell you where you left us at. Where did I leave y'all? You left us at, she told you, y'all getting married. We getting married, getting dressed, and... We're going to the courthouse. We're going to the courthouse. That's right. She had already bought the outfit. Yeah. It was a white outfit. The white outfit. So we get down to the justice of the peace. Yeah. And I'm excited. I can't even front. I'm about to get married. Mm -hmm. I called my auntie. Back home. And, because I don't be, they, you know, they don't really keep up with me personally what's going on. I remember with my career, yes, but yeah. like, who I'm dating. They didn't, my auntie don't give a fuck who I bring home. She love anybody. Mm -hmm. I can bring a fucking serial killer home. Right. She's like, you know what? You should, if she got a church home, if she don't have a church home, she can stay here. She don't give a fuck. As long as I'm comfortable with her. So I call home. I say, hey, listen, um, I'm getting married. So I said, well, who are you getting married to? Um, this girl. Kia. So, it ain't like they could object. I've been on my own since I was fucking 13 years old. You can't object. I can do what the fuck I want to do. But I just, you know, just out of respect told him. Went down to Justice of the Peace, and you had to, we had to wait. It was niggas in front of us. Ah, oh, man. Just, just think about that. It was niggas in front of us on our wedding day. We was on deck. You do you go to Bill Sorrell Jr. I'm waiting to get married. Like I gotta wait. Like I'm, I gotta wait and listen to all that shit. Mm -hmm. And then the same nigga from do the same shit. This For nigga's you. making a killing, by the way. So <laughs> I get up and I never forget, man. Uh, I never forget the, the 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 minister said um, he promised to love her through long suffering 
and I didn't know was long suffering mean. Mm. I stopped that man. I said, hold on, player. I said, hold on, hold on. I said, when you say long suffering, you mean suffering for a long time? He said, no, that's not. It's like to, it, to endure, long suffering, to endure whatever y'all going through, y'all endure together. And I didn't know. I stopped the man in the middle of his. Hey, what's that? What you talking about long suffering? I was cool with everything until you got to that. I didn't know what that is. Got married, honeymoon stages. Keep in mind, my wife is married at this time. I mean, she's, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. So, man, we're not, we're not able to really honeymoon, do anything like that. She's pregnant. Man. I just got a new job at the Win. I'm working at the Win, and I got my VIP company. I'm hustling. I'm doing my thing. I'm, I got a few. Because you know this baby coming. In. Yeah, I got the baby coming. My, my first boy, Caleb. <clears throat> How did it make you feel when you found out it was a boy? I only wanted two boys. I only wanted two boys. When I got the news that we were having a boy, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be great. This is going to be real good. Got the first one. I'm going to wait probably about three or four more years and get in on that second one. After that, uh, six weeks later, after we had Caleb, yeah. she was pregnant again. Oh, man. I went back to back with that name. Hey, let me tell you something, man. Back to back. Well, that's why we Kendra Spears, brother, because mm -hmm. I did that. I did you that did six too? months. It's like, it's, see, people don't realize once you get married and then you had that baby, that, that after that first baby, you, you, you really like, hey, this me right here. I'm going off the rafters. Because when she, soon as them, soon as them stitches heal up, it's brand new in there. I couldn't take a, it. An example would be. I couldn't take it. Example would be for people at home that's trying to figure out what that's like. Women that, that you know, because y'all probably ain't never been inside yourself or inside some brand new vagina. Or almost brand new. You know where this is. You know where you are. I can't say it's like new. So imagine if in your house. You left your house to go to like to the store around the corner, and you came back, mm -hmm. and all the furniture was moved, mm. rearranged. You be like, "Hey, this wasn't here. This wasn't like this before. I ain't mad. I ain't I, mad though. I didn't think. I didn't. I never thought it would be it like this. Nice. This is nice. Oh this yeah, really this is nice. real nice. I like. I like how this is. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, I boy. Went right back in that brand new thing. Right. So you back to back. Back to back. Your second. So, your second son is. I've got one boy. Mm -hmm. I remember the day we was going to find out what we were having. We were driving. I was driving home. Was how, old, how old is Caleb? Caleb is a not even a year yet. He's like four months. Uh, when we find out, probably so. Something around there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm driving home from yeah. work. I work 4 a.m. to noon. I work the graveyard shift. Yeah. I'm on my way home because yeah. I couldn't make the doctor's appointment. I called. As soon as I got off work, I said, hey, what do we have? She just paused. She said, it's a girl. And I paused just like that. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. Yeah. I'm going to try. I got to try again. She said, it's a boy. I said, don't fuck with me. <laughs> Is it a boy? She said, yes. I said, promise. She said, yes. I said, I got I to gotta go. Bye. I hang up in her face. I called my doctor right away. I said, hey, doc, I need a vasectomy today. <laughs> I need it today. He said, wait, we, you know, we need to have a consultation. You, you kind of too young to be doing it. I said, no, no, I got what I need. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want nothing else. Mm. He says, I mean, come on, man. I mean, what happens if something happens to your wife and your next wife? She can't get them. No more kids. I don't want to have it done. Period. So I scheduled my vasectomy. Yeah. Let me tell you something about the vasectomy. I kind of looked up on it, so I wanted to be right. I didn't want to go in not knowing. Cause I knew they had to shave you. Yeah, so you I did knew. all that yourself. I got you. Don't worry about that. I got you. You cock tamper. They be tampering with your shit. Oh man. Some of them be professional, but some of them be fucking around in there. So to prevent them from fucking around, I went and shaved my shit. So I remember I get, I got in there. Yeah. And he called in the nurse. Mm -hmm. And I said, you don't even need none of that. I'm, I'm good. Not, you, you already prepped. That's what that's called. You prepped. She, she said, nope. We got to do it too. We want to get it all the way bald. I just use oyster clippers. No. She's like, nah, we're gonna put that, that shit on that motherfucker and take it all off. Shave me down. The procedure is quick, it's in and out. I'm like, cool. They put you to sleep for it? No, you up. You up? They tell you they give you a shot in your dick. They somewhere? shoot, they shoot a little, they, they numb it. They shoot that right, right in the ball area, but it's, they'll numb it. It sounds painful. It's not really that painful. 
But afterwards, here comes the beauty, fellas. Here we go. I got some hot shit for you. Simo, you ready for this one? I'm ready. Ernest. Let's hey, go. fellas, y'all can use this. Fellas at home, y'all don't even know this exists. After my surgery, doctor said, hey, listen, you still have some excess sperm that may be live. So you can't have sex unprotected, and you have to jack off at least three times a day. Nigga prescribe me jack off. Wait, wait, wait. For how long? Uh, I think like a couple of weeks. Wait, wait. So, so. Yeah. Yeah. Three a yeah. day. You yeah. Need, you get that get, boy out. Get that thing out of there. You can get that thing out of there. You know what I want to do? What you want to do? I want to lie so bad. I want to bring some deceit into my relationship. Mm -hmm. I need a doctor. Doctor, yeah, doctor. Who will call my wife. Yeah, prescribe some jack off for you. That I got prostate. It's early stages of prostate you cancer. You gotta get that nut out of there. And I need, he's gotta get it, it out three days. It need to be jacked or sucked out. Yeah, but it need to be something. Right. It sucked is, it, it, you know, I need a, I need somebody. If you're a doctor. That's right. you're watching this right now. That's right. And you wanna help me. Please. Get my nuts out, you know, to help me through my marriage and, and could possibly save, not even save my marriage, but just add it to another level for a good time for Come at least now. two months. That's it. <clears throat> Give us a call. 323-385-9734. Three, four. We'll, we'll get, get somebody, somebody over there to you. We, we know need what I'm saying? to get somebody over to us. We need somebody get a, get somebody over there to us. And if you're watching this right now, that's right. And you feel like you want to help somebody. Yeah, it's been in that position. That's that's in that position mm -hmm. currently. Because this, you know, this might be an outpouring of people yeah, who give yeah, yeah, give us on. a call. That's right. Three two three. Three eight five nine, nine seven three, three four. We'll, we'll get, get somebody, somebody over there. Cheese. Somebody's and, out and there. And I want to say, uh, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually help somebody right now because. Uh, Mm. Yeah, we gotta help him. I gotta go ahead. I and heard do about that. that. Mm -hmm. you, you, Simon, oh, did you hear about that? Oh man, heard about that. Man, Ernest, you heard about that? I definitely heard about that. Shit, they out here. They, they listen. We appreciate y'all using that number. <laughs> they using it. Yeah, they're using, using it. it. They are asking us to get people. Now look, there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this for very long, and I wouldn't do this. But I need y'all to know this is real. We randomly got these news. You probably can't see the person that good. That's cool, but it's just wild enough. She's out there. She's out there. Now, she? let me give you the number. That's right. She asked him. She's uh, asking to get somebody over there she to She needs somebody over there for her. If you are in Please. the uh, L.A. area. L.A. area. Come on now. Get his... Matter of fact, if you want to get somebody, whoever this is, that's you in the L.A. area, you want to get somebody over there to this, give us a call. Give us a call. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. We, Go ahead and give us that number. Go ahead and give us your what information. We gonna give, what's her nickname going to be? Uh, we, we're going to call her, uh, wow, we're going to call that chocolate spread. Call if you want to get some of the chocolate spread chocolate right spread. here, that's over here in that. That's okay. the, she, she got it spread out for you. It's like wide this open here. for you. That thing busts. If you want to get some of the chocolate spread, give us a call. You know the number to call. That's right. So, man. So, so check it. I'm, I'm, I'm. We found out you got your second boy. I got my second boy and you I'm got jacking your, off. You jacking off every day, three off. times a day. I'm jacking off. Can't nobody say nothing. I got a license to jack off. I've been to License to kill. Doctor told me to do this. Can't nobody say shit. <sighs> so. That's awesome. Things are going That's good. I got two awesome. boys. I got a wife. Wife is not happy. Why, now, why is she not happy? Glad Doctor. you asked. Glad you asked. Because I know about her wife not being happy. Mm -hmm. But I need to know why your wife not happy. I need to understand. Well, for one, I'm out. I'm on the scene in, yeah. in Vegas. She's feeling, well, he's probably seeing beautiful women. Okay. I've been out back to back babies. Mm -hmm. My bodies ain't like mm -hmm. it used to be. My, my, my titties ain't right. My, I know exactly you what know? you're going through, bro. I know exactly what you're saying. She's looking at me like, Damn me, like baby, I love yeah. you. So I said, you know what? Sometimes you got to give your boo boo a swag lift. God damn. You gotta give her a swag lift. Now, what you, you say swag lift, what that means? She's a swag lift. You gotta do something that changes how she feels. Maybe it's something on the outer, maybe it's something, but mm -hmm. it's all important on the inside. It's all starting from the inside. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you gotta do something that you gotta draw those aesthetics. things, those, those, those insecurities that they have and they feel. So like. let me tell you what I did. I said, what you know did? what I'm gonna do? I know you don't like the way your body looks. I'm gonna throw some titties on you. Man. You deserve them. You deserve them. You, and guess what? You're gonna pick which titty you want. Let's go up there together. Went there, and she said, I don't like my stomach. So you know what, God damn it, we're going to fix that too. You know why? Because I'm balling. <laughs> Fucking balling out of control. Let's fix it. This ain't no random chick you just throwing money at. No, no, no. This the woman that's done gave you your two boys. She did that. Your namesakes. She did that. The lineage. 
Carried her back to back. Got her right. Got her right. She mm. got the body right. I mean, she got healed up. Went took her shopping. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Got your feel right. Get you, get her, get you. A woman needs that. So how is that? After, after, okay. after something like that, after she's been through that, mm-hmm. and she's looking at me, she doesn't go. She's not going out. She's being a mother. I'm out. I'm the bread runner. I'm out and about. I'm, I got the VIP. I got my. I'm out. I'm seeing beautiful women. We're in Vegas. She's like, God damn. Do I? Am I still attractive to him? Oh man. So now that you done gave her this surgery, how you feeling? What's that thing? What's that like? Brand new pussy. It's brand new. Oh my gosh, everything's brand new. Everything's brand new. Her attitude is still beautiful. Yeah. Now we just enhance a few things. Yeah. I've, I'm, I'm fucking a brand new woman. Wow. My wife is a brand new, I got That's a, a new brand new wife. I got some upgrades now. I'm whipping again. Back in this thing, I said, man, she looked so good. I said, oh my gosh, titties was bam, the stomach was, uh. Man, then she started going back to the gym. I was like, who is this new bitch I'm fucking? It's your bitch. My. <laughs> and it just, you know what I mean? It was it was a man. good time, you know what I mean? It was a very good time in, in, in my marriage. But you, I'm in you motivate, Vegas. You inspire me right now, you know why? Why? My wife talked to me about that. She want that. And you know what, dog? It don't seem that irrational. Ah, I mean, I, I, my, in my brain, it's been irrational my whole life. I was just like, I, I'm not doing that. That's just ridiculous. Mm. But you know what? It ain't my body I'm talking about. She wants it. You guys talk about it. She wants it. She knows what she wants. But it made, it made some differences. Mm-hmm. You said it's just a, it's like a, it's a, like a brand new car. Brand new. What's, that, what's, the, what's a woman's attitude like? Now, you do, you, you're making the ultimate sacrifice with that. Cause that's, I saw her confidence shoot through from, you know, because she always had a nice body. She was always, and you loved her. And I loved her anyway, regardless. And you felt like you would do anything for her. So that money it was It didn't nothing. matter. No, I didn't care about that because I was balling. It's in Vegas. Help, help people at home who don't know what this takes to upgrade a woman. What's, what's the average? Give me a, a ballpark figure. Around uh, 15 about. racks. That's what I spent. 15,000. Not on a new 15, car. 15,000. Not on a new house. Mm-mm. Not Nobody. on, not on the trust. Titties and belly and belly, mm-hmm. and her swag. Thing I ain't buying no that. ass. I ain't buying no ass. Nope, that got to come with the package. I am not buying no ass. I just can't do it. You not gonna I get mad at it. I ain't mad at it, but I'm not gonna purchase it. Yeah. Mm 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 mm. So what's happening with her mindset now that she's got this new physique? We're able to hang out now. We can go out together. I love going out with my wife. So her confidence, what she carried herself. It's just everything was good. Everything's good. Right. But we still in Vegas. What does that mean? That means somebody got to fuck up. Yeah. Damn. And because it's did you miss me, it's got to be me. <laughs> she ain't got a podcast. She don't have a podcast. She ain't on here venting. And- All right, now I'm going to tell you. I'm going to know what I'm going to say. Now hear me out. I was about to say this on the last episode. That was funny. Now what I'm going to say, you're going to initially say, you a dirty ass dog, D-Lay. But then I'll show you why I did it. So I'm in Vegas mm-hmm. and I'm partying hard. Yeah. Now I'm a piece back from a story that I had earlier. Mm-hmm. The stripper. The stripper that... Gave me the drugs. Okay, I got you. Stripper that gave me the goddamn ecstasy. Oh man, I remember that night. So One I didn't. So here's the deal. I didn't piece it off for of y'all. Now you got to break us in. Here we go. Later on that night, she mm-hmm. and I are in the casino gambling. You and the stripper. Me and the stripper are gambling. Okay. Now, wifey's at home. Mm-hmm. Being a wife. Yeah. Doing what she's supposed to be doing. At home. At home. Yeah. I'm out here in these streets. Yeah. What time is it? It's tomorrow. It's you, you fucking around. It's tomorrow. Whatever time, it's the next day. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's like in the wee hours. It's probably like 2.30, 3.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Now I want you to understand yeah. that I am on about two to three to five pills of ecstasy. Oh man. Two to three to five. I can't remember which you one. You ain't but stopping I, that. Some between two that and five. That ain't stopping no time soon. So I'm up and I'm drinking liquor and I have ordered champagne. Oh man, you ain't got no plans. And you got a room. Oh, I, uh, no. They had a room. 
I had a sweet. <laughs> I had a sweet. I love it. <laughs> My nigga said, if you going to go out and fuck off, I do it big. Big sweet. Because keep in mind, I'm playing at the casino. You get They're giving me. I'm living it up. So I'm in there, and me and this stripper are doing everything that the Bible says we shouldn't do. Oh, man. You so were. now I got bottles of champagne coming to the room. Cristal. I'm drinking Cristal. They're ordering it, and I'm, they're bringing it to the room. I probably got about three bottles in the room, and I'm pouring it everywhere. I'm Steve Francis, and I'm France. I'm putting the Steve Francis on this motherfucker. I'm on me. I'm on. I'm everywhere. I'm wilding. The thing about ecstasy is, you're not gonna go to sleep. You're mm. gonna be up. You're gonna be up. Ecstasy, Molly, whatever. You're gonna be up. Yeah. So I'm up. I know. I know all about them. I'm up. The sun has come up now. It's probably about seven in the morning. I probably got about 700 missed calls on my phone. Oh, man. Maybe 700. Wow. Here's the deal. I can't remember how my wife knew I was there, but she knew. She knew you was? At the casino. Uh -huh. At that sp uh, specific casino. Yeah. So I'm about to wrap things up. Yeah. Knock on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Go to the peephole. Who is it? Your wife. You goddamn right, sir. Oh man. Now I'm I something came over me like I almost sobered up right there. Like all the ecstasy just went out. I'm just in shock. Cause she's at your actual room. She's at the door. The stripper's on the inside. She's at the door. I said here. If I open that door, this bitch is getting killed. I'm dead. She getting slaughtered off the rip. And now you have nothing. It's nothing you're going to be able to do about this, buddy. I said, I don't know what to do. She is knocking nonstop. It started boom, 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 boom. Then it progressed to boom, 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 boom. Then it went to boom, 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 boom. So now the neighbors are coming out. Oh, man. So I I know exactly what you're going through with that. Okay. That's deep. I'm gonna have to call the authorities on her. Yeah. Ain't no way out of this. D-Lay, let me tell you something. I got to call Ain't the authorities. Ain't nothing wrong with that, because you know why? I got to do it. I had to do that before, too. You had to do it? Yeah, never, wasn't on my wife, but it was on somebody I loved a whole, whole lot. You had to do it. Yeah, I had to. You did I, it for y'all. I did it for her. Especially for her. She was gonna her. fuck her life up. I knew she was gonna fuck her life up. Exactly, so that's why I'm, this door is locked. So, stripper's like, just open the door and we can talk about it. I said, let me tell you what's on the other side of the door that you think you can talk to. First of all, you're Asian. Okay, let's just get that off the rip. You can get your She's going to kill you for that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm with you. Oh, man. And she pro-black. First of all, you're getting killed. You think you're going to be able to be diplomatic with this woman? Mm-mm. Not going to be diplomatic. I think I can talk to her. I said, I want you to go look through the peephole and just look at that woman and then come back and tell me what you see. That's after she, this, now this is all after she didn't get you them two rounds in the garage when you came in. When you came in the house, you told me about that. Right, right, but this when is, she, right, she gave me that, this is that. This is after that. This is before that. Oh man. This is prior to the garage shit. Oh shit. So I come, I, 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 she goes to the, to the door, looks, come back. She says she looks calm. I said, that's a trick. She wants you to think she's calm. So she can open, open that door. door and, and she, she can get beat. loose on your ass and drag you all through this bitch. Cause she gonna drag you. I know she can fight. This is a dragon. I fought her. <laughs> <laughs> I know she can fight. And she's gonna do you bad. Please do not talk. Phone is buzzing. So finally the security comes up. He says, ma'am, we have to ask you to leave. She won't leave. She says, the bitch on the inside is gonna die. <laughs> I said, see, see, you want me to open the door? And, and so what are the authorities doing? They're like, let's get out of here. We got to get out of here. Get, they got to get out and leave her? She's got to get off the premises. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Get I was going to say, because they did they that. They call me. They said, hey, Mr. Laird, do you know who that is? No, I don't. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I've never seen that lady before. <laughs> it's the mother of your kids. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't. Oh, I can't let her in. Ah, oh, shit. 
I, I can't. Which